Hey everybody, what's going on? RJ here, and it's a sad day for me today, because uh, somebody I bumped into many times and I worked with on set uh, passed away today. Of course, you guys know who he is, Paul Walker. Uh, he's pretty famous, well-known, you know, the Fast and the Furious movies. But when I met him, he did She's All That, and he was just beginning, and I never gave him a ride back to crew parking. Really nice guy. We chat, chit-chat for like at least like 45 minutes in crew parking before I even left. And I wasn't even working on that movie. I was working on the movie right next to him. And uh, I was just very cool. He's a very cool guy. And I bumped into him too many times on set. I worked with him on... Um, actually, I bumped into him again on this one movie I was working for in uh, Santa Monica Beach. And I was working the night crew. And he was there at a party at some house. And then I also met Bill Murray that morning too. But that night, uh, he recognized me, who I was. Like, hey, how's it going? You know, kind of like passing ways. And uh, he and his friends hung out with me. At least like 45 minutes to an hour. And they bought me, uh, of course, I didn't drink. I was working. But they bought me like a bunch of sodas and stuff and some snackages for the night. And he's uh, a really cool guy. I mean, really, really down-to-earth guy. I mean, he, I, I enjoyed his company. And I bumped into him many times um, after that on set. And one of the other times uh, I worked with him. Actually, not worked with him, but... Uh, he, I was doing this one MTV um, promo with uh, Jessica Alba, and he happened to be there. I just bummed heads with uh, Topher Grace, the guy from the 70s show. And Paul Walker came in and said, like, you know, that guy's an asshole, fuck him, this and that. And he asked me about what I was doing, and so I was watching here, making sure people, the right people came to the crew parking and the base camp. And I was watching, kind of watching Jessica's um, trailer, making sure nobody was there. A bunch of like celebrities there doing the MTV promo. And he was supposedly working in or doing like a, spes, uh, a guest spot on whatever they're doing at uh, Cal State Fullerton College. And um, he made, he asked me, you know, hey, if you eat anything, you need anything? I'm like, no, I haven't eaten anything. I know that they're they're making food, they're catering, you know, they're really catering the day. And uh, he went down and grabbed a bunch of cheeseburgers, came back, and we actually ate on top of my car. And he stood with me for like at least an hour, just chilling. And he made sure I get fed. And he, he ate too. And he, we stood there and we talked and um, we laughed, we joked. It was, it was a pretty cool guy. I mean, it was fun times. And then to hear about this guy passed away today, it's, it's kind of a shame. And one of the, the major sad things is that um, before the writer's strike, I had talked to him. He had read my book, Life After Rap. And a lot of people don't know the story because uh, when the writer's strike happened, I was really pissed off. A lot of things just like went, went shut down. But he was really interested in doing... Um, the book into a, like a film tv show type thing and they had a lot of interesting parties in it and i can say who but when the rush strike hit everything just went shut down and i was really pissed or hollowed because i was this close to having a tv show and uh at paul walker come on paul walker uh i don't know why he would play me because i look nothing like paul walker but it's, it's a sad shame to know that he died today and uh paul this is for you uh, a little drink here for you here, and uh, you've been missed, brother. You're totally missed by uh, me, and I'm pretty sure by a lot of people out there, and it's a sad shame day that you died today. 40 years old. Oh, sad day, guys. Sad day.